Oh, it makes your teeth look whiter. It just makes my teeth look more busted. That's what it does. Hi, it's Miranda. And I, I keep saying I know I look awful, but at this point, it really doesn't matter. Even if I thought I looked fantastic, if somebody wanted to say something, they probably would. Today, I finally, for the, I want to say, maybe the first time this year, bought makeup. I usually just buy what I need and I replenish it. And every once in a while when I see something new that I'm like, oh, I want to try that. A lot of times it happens to be Maybelline. Um, didn't, I wasn't doing that on purpose, but then I noticed that that's just what kept happening. There's a lot of stuff I have to get rid of because a lot of this stuff was pretty old. So I'm going to be throwing some things out. Very excited. Oh, I even bought a new face wash because when I put my new skincare routine um, as Mad M, I was using the simple, simpler, I was using the simple micellar gel wash that um, Hiram had recommended. And then it was really hard to find. It seems like once the weather got cold and my hormones go nuts, my face, I'm also older, you never know. It's just my face just doesn't look good right now. And a few months ago, it looked a lot better. I bought this. I don't know if this is fantastic. I looked up some reviews and I saw that this does an okay job. I already used the lotion. I already like the lotion. This did not make me break out anytime I used it on its own. I don't really use micellar water very much, but I figure for the really stubborn stuff. But this cute little wet and wild thing because right, you know where I went now, because I've been using this little brush and it's not so easy to clean and Maybe I just shouldn't be using it for my concealer. We're going to try this. It's easier to clean. I think this is going to go bye-bye. You know, the second I open this and I'm using it, I'm going to find mine. But I bought one. I bought two concealers. Just in case, I bought one color lighter parallel to some of the other light shades, but it looked a little more on the yellow side when I was looking at it. This color was vanilla. <laughs> Vanilla sand. <laughs> I'm vanilla sand. It almost sounds insulting, actually. I'm a pale Middle Eastern person who doesn't really do anything. They call me vanilla sand. I bought... Mine is still going, but it feels like it's getting short and I don't want to run out. I told you. Maybelline. Maybelline. I'm not in love with some of my eyeshadow formulas and I don't want to go pricey. So I figured... See if I like this better. I got more of this because I... Hit the pan on my other one. Since this is the first time I'm shopping this year. What is the date on this? Oh, it says 24 months. Not so bad. And I finally repurchased my Rebel Rose. I love Rebel Rose. I just like the way it looks on me. So now I can get rid of this. That's all I bought. It really added up though. I'm saying that thinking that someone who buys more expensive makeup isn't watching. But if you all are, to me, that's... I don't like to get up to around a hundred bucks on my makeup, even if it does include washes. I did also get toilet paper, so that wasn't the whole cost and a toy for my son, but you know, I'm still going in the garbage. This is still fine. So I didn't buy a new bronzer because I have this and the 200, which both seem to work just fine. This one I do like, so now I have the sharpener for it again. Unfortunately, because I'm the most forgetful person in the entire world sometimes, I forgot to buy my new mascara. I, I love this. Uh, Maybelline Lash Sensational, but I do like the the pink version. The I guess it's it was probably the original of the Lash Sensational. This one's spikier. That one's more... I don't know. I just like that one better. I forgot. Alright, so I have to go through this because some of these are so old. For example, this is pretty bad. To anyone who's looked at older videos on my channel, um, the one where I did the minimal makeup, one of the things I used over my lip gloss was this this baby lips this is the same exact one it's going in the garbage now what was that five years ago and you know what i bought these all around the similar time so i think they can go too this one never looked good on me anyway um i never cared for this and at this point like it's such a shame sticker on this right they let you return but i feel bad about returning makeup. i'm like what are they gonna do with that so i just keep it and i figure maybe i'll use it for something I never used this and I've had this way too long to hold on to it. In my video about my clothes, I said sometimes I get into a mood where I'm like, I'm going to stop lying to myself and get rid of stuff now. 
that's what I'm doing with the makeup. Keep it small and easy to deal with. I'm not knocking anyone else for putting whatever amount of makeup on their face they want. I want to keep emphasizing this. If you want to cake your face and that's what makes you happy, enjoy yourself. I'm saying I feel like when I put more than what I put on, barring today and this, this concealer catastrophe, when I put more than what I usually wear, I inevitably, and it usually takes about an hour, hate it. Usually look and say, oh, that's too much. I put too much. The only times that that doesn't happen is when it's a wedding or something. I know it's going to be dark. I want to look good. And you know what? That hasn't happened since, uh, that's not happening right now. So, and I don't want to put down any of these palettes for Maybelline because I love Maybelline. Uh, they just didn't work for me for one reason or another. So, uh, this master contour, this actually was, I did use this a lot. It just, I'm not big on blush. This was the wrong color for me. And, um, I'm just gonna get rid of it. this one never really worked for me either. And, um, it kind of reminds me of a palette that just came out not that long ago. But anyway, it says two years. I, j I quite possibly have had this for more than two years. I honestly, with the way things have been going, maybe I bought this at the end of 2018. I don't, I don't remember. These, I've had these for a very long time. So I have all these Maybelline Universals, which I like because of the transfer. I don't really wear them that much. Also masks. And, you know. Flammable until dry. Goody. Yeah. This color never looked right on me. Really desert highlight. I have it. I don't really wear this, but I figure I'll keep it a little longer. Uh, I was never a big fan of these. These are from L'Oreal. I just didn't, just didn't work. This is done. Okay, some brow gel that, this is old at this point. I never did black lip. I hate black lipstick on me because it immediately comes off of the inside of my mouth, no matter what. And also it calls attention to my crooked teeth, my crooked ass, ugly teeth. We don't need to do that. Oh, it makes your teeth look whiter. No, it just makes my teeth look more busted. That's what it does. So these two, I think I'll keep a little longer for the more fun looks. So do use some of the colors a bit. Um, yeah, here's another thing I never cared for. It's a minimizing primer, right? Primers, everyone likes primers. My skin does not like primers sometimes. My skin just doesn't want a lot of stuff on it. We're not going to put a lot of stuff on it. Someone out there is like, you just don't do it right. Okay, then I don't do it right. Um, I know this less works for me better. Burt's Bees Ultra Conditioning Lip Balm with Coconut Butter. Um, I think everybody is just different. I keep saying that over and over again. Because someone might say, no, this worked for me. This doesn't work for me. The only chapstick that I really like that's in stick form like this is soft lips. They're like the thinner. They usually come in a two pack put it on at night, wake up in the morning, my lips will feel so soft. Vanilla berry or whatever the thing was, just the, it's all I need. Um, this Tattoo Studio eyebrow pencil, not for me. Also wrong color. My hair is too dark. Brown. No, no, no. When they say brown, they mean that light brown. They mean that closer to this brown. They don't mean this brown. It's like, this is my old sand. I tried to keep it for times of desperation. It can go now. This Revlon Color Stay Cream Eyeshadow. Again, sometimes it's a formula thing. I have these Revlon lipsticks. One of them's like a pink. The other one's like a shimmery pink. I like them a lot, but they're old. This one was a gold one. Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid. This was my attempt at matching this, as you can see. Thank you for trying Maybelline. This is one of the few times that I had to go with Wet n Wild and I'm really sorry. Maybe we can be friends, but that I have Toffee Talk, Nudist Peach, Missy and Fierce, Nudie Patootie, Pink Really Hard, Ride on My Copper. What? Ride on my copper, I'm assuming. This one that is not matte, High Shine, which that was a mistake. The high shine ones transfer a lot. Send nudes. 
this Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit. It was okay. It did the job. It's really old at this pot. Here's another brow thing I attempted. Whatever it was was rubbed off. I have a feeling this one might have been Maybelline. But I'm not sure, so. <sighs> what do you think I found at the very bottom of my bag, even though I thought I searched through it and I probably should have dumped it out completely? What do you think I found? Is it? Is it a sharpener? Huh. Sorry. It's fine, keeping it. And I have this little mirror, Wet n Wild uh, Watermelon Scrub, which someone said that they loved it. I don't love it. It's, I don't know. Like I joked around with it in that in a Mad M video where I like put it over lipstick and I was doing, I was like, it looks great. And that was funny and all, but like it's never really done much for me. So. All right, that's most of the bag. Those, these are just the Maybelline lipsticks. I left those in there. I'm going to do that thing. I'm being really honest. Which ones I wear, which ones I don't. Oh, this one looks awful on me. Should I? I have decided I don't like metallics. I don't wear this anymore because of the transfer. Not in love with this anymore. I noticed the last few times I wore this, especially when it's winter, I look gray. I look gray without even trying to, to look gray. So that's why I do gray makeup with it. But I don't love that look. Same with this. Tends to make me look gray um i like these three this middle color is a little iffy but i feel like i might be able to make it work with something like darkening it a little these three that i actually i like all three of these these are revlon color stay this is wet and wild actually looked really nice when i would use it but for some reason it bothered my eyes my eyes were a little sensitive to this um, panther i've had this for a very long time this has got to go bye bye now this had fallout the last time I used it. It might be because it's old. That's Organza. It's the mini version from Givenchy. Um, this is my, my signature smell for a while. Everybody seemed to like it on me. I'm going to go wash my face with my new stuff and put makeup on. That's it. My son's here. I got to go before he gets on camera. But I wanted to point something out. Uh, if anyone wants to know what the CeraVe face wash felt like, uh, it might just be a novelty thing because I noticed that when I change products, I'm like, ooh, I like that. It felt really nice, but I've been using Dove, so it might just be because it's better for my face than Dove. The other thing I wanted to say is to anyone who's used to, I was rinsing it and squeezed out a lot of pink dye that kept just coming out over and over and over. I don't want pink on my face. Uh, it's dye. I don't really know what's in the dye. Just wasn't really happy about that, but you know, rinsed it out. Hopefully my face doesn't break out worse after using such thing. I don't expect it to, but you don't expect half the things in life to happen when they do sometimes. So there's that. the color I'm using this middle color is it my brush oh, it's a palette I call this look yeah I can't be bothered I think it's a big improvement. I think I could still use a, a few things, but not today. For good, I'm gonna wash this thing, and we're gonna hope that these new situation, this new situation with my makeup, helps us to clear up faster, and then I can use less on my face in the first place. I actually don't like using concealer, and I've been using it nonstop because it's like a vicious cycle. We'll see how this works out. In the meantime, um, 
I'm done. And thank you for watching if you watched this far. And thank you for watching anything. But it was a weird experience. I haven't been shopping, like regular shopping. And every time I looked, I was like, this is, you know how makeup aisles are. They're small. And um, I think this is already looking so much better with this color. That That's the end of this video. Have a great day. Hope life gives you what you need. Blah, 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 bl